Okay, welcome back to day two of Dell World. This is the Cube, our flagship program. We out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. This is this is our Cube. We've been doing this day for for almost three seasons now. We're having a great time. Yesterday we had Michael Dell here inside the Cube, uh, and all the Dell execs. We had Dario, who's heading up the uh, the system side of the business, and Dell here is in day two of their second year of Dell World, where. They're transforming their business. They've always been playing in the enterprise, but clearly putting down, uh, putting the stake in the ground to establish themselves as a player. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE.com, and I'm joined with my co-host Dave Vellante. Dave, a quick intro here before we jump into our great day of day two. Marius Haas, head of sales, CMO, Kim Stevenson from CIO of Intel. Um, we are in a transformation. We heard from Michael Dell yesterday. Uh, what's your take on uh, all this uh, happening here? And uh, let's, What's your angle on this? So John, we're seeing, uh, the, as you say, the transformation of Dell. We had Michael Dell on yesterday. Very passionate individual. He's extremely involved in the business. We talked with him privately, and John, you asked him about, hey, what's all this story about a comeback? He goes, hey, I never left. And here's the thing, John. This company, I've said it a number of times, $60 billion uh, revenues, less than a $20 billion market cap. They got $11 billion in, in cash. It means they got you know, eight to $9 billion in core value. That's a problem. Michael Dell and his team are, are addressing that problem. But the narrative you know, out there on Wall Street and in the analyst community is, is Dell going to be attacked, essentially, by private equity? And are people going to try to break this company up? Now, really, from my standpoint, John, the investments that Dell is making are absolutely right on. This is exactly what the company should be doing. It's, it's trying to take its scale and drive that, that logistics and supply chain excellence into the enterprise with an end-to-end -end story. Dell could really do some damage here. It's taking a long time, and it would be a shame if they, you know, people try to attack and break this company up. I think it really is, they're on the right track. It's just going to take time, and hopefully the market has patience. You know, yesterday we had Michael Dell here inside the queue, and you know, we could have asked him a variety of questions. We could have pounded him on Windows 8. Is it the right move? What's your stock price? But we really wanted to get into, and I wanted to get into what he's all about right now. And, and what I really enjoyed about talking with Michael Dell in our conversations, you can go visit that up on YouTube, youtube.com slash siliconangle. Um, and it's a really candid conversation. Uh, he actually retweeted it out as well, which is one of three tweets. But this is a guy who's the founder of the company. Uh, named after him, Dell, Michael Dell, and he really is at the helm here, and he talked about, I'm the founder, I can make those investments, hinting to the fact that he's putting his own money back into the company. This is a guy who, who people are saying, oh, the Dell comeback. There really is no comeback, Dave. They are not coming back, they are back, they've been there. So I think what Dell's really doing is the transformation of their company to move from a box player to a solutions player. And they've been making this transformation for a number of years, but this year in particular, it's really evident because they need to establish themselves as the building blocks. They've made some key acquisitions. Um, they've made uh, the right moves on, on building out their, their solution set. He even talked about big data as part of Quest Software. So, so even though they're not hyping up big data, they're clearly putting the stake in the ground on software-led infrastructure. So Michael Dell is really all about transforming the long-term aspect of the company. He said specifically, um, and these are my words, I really don't care about Wall Street, I'm looking at the long term of Dell, prepared to make the investments. Dell is trading at a low right now in my opinion, they're undervalued, and he is saying, I don't care, I'm in it for the long term, I'm the founder, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be here, I'm going to make those investments. So clearly, uh, Dell is going through a transformation, and the enterprise clearly is a focus, they've been successful, and they're building the building blocks, and that is their core strategy with software. That's where the margin expansion will be, and that's really what Michael Dell was saying. Well, and, and they're hanging on to that PC business. There is no uncertainty like there was at HP. You know, Dell very clearly sees that as a strategic advantage, scale, and their ability to leverage their supply chain and drive down costs. Michael Dell said yesterday, look, we buy a lot of microprocessors, we buy a lot of memory, we buy a lot of disk drives, and we sell servers, and there's a lot of those in servers, but there's a lot more of those in PCs, and so Dell is going to use its buying power. You know, the issue, John, is the PC market's in decline, right? And it's it's got to hit a bottom and stabilize, and we had some analysts on yesterday said they expected that to happen. I would agree we would expect that to happen, but there will be pain 
you know, along the way. But uh, I think it's the right strategy, and uh, of course we're here covering it. Uh, check out wikibon.org for all the research. Go to siliconangle.com for all the news and analysis and opinion. Check out youtube.com slash siliconangle and you'll see many of the events that we were at. We had 27 events this year, and uh, we had uh, a number in previous years, so they're all there. We've been doing this now, as John said, since 2010, and uh, we're here live in Austin. And we got uh, Kim Stevenson, the CIO of Intel, is coming up next, John, and... Uh, yeah, we got a great Marius Haas, who's the new president of the Enterprise Group, came from HP. We're going to talk with him, the CMO, Barton George, Steve Felice, Chief Commercial Officer, basically sales. We're going to talk to Dell. We're going to drill down day two. We're going to dig deep. We're getting all the data on Dell, and we're going to share that with you on siliconangle.com, our TV program, The Cube. Uh, stay with us all day today for day two wall-to-wall -wall coverage. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. We'll be right back with Kim Stevenson, the CIO of Intel, right after this short break. <laughs>